Hi, this is the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time we're going to look at a feature that was introduced in 8070 um, and on the ICX 7150, 7650 uh, you have the ability to erase the system config and put it back to factory default using the reset button on the front alone. So if you can't get access to the CLI or for whatever reason you don't have a console cable and you need to put it back to factory default uh, maybe you can't get to the console and you need to, to you know RMA a device and you don't want to send it in with your configuration on it uh, you could do a factory reset just through uh, hardware. So let's see how that works. So here we have a 7150-24P and uh, you can see the reset button there. And so this is powered off, right? So I, next thing I need to do is hold down this reset button. Then I'm going to take the power cable and plug it in the back. So you see it starts to come up. You hold this button in for about 10 seconds and then we'll start to see the status lights flash. So the status lights are flashing now as you can see there. So all I have to do is release that pin and wait for the system to boot up. So we can see the system start to boot and the system is actually going to reboot twice. So it's going to boot up once, erase all the files that we don't need anymore. Uh, things like the logs, the core dumps, um, startup configuration, boot up configuration, anything that was not there from the factory will be gone. That also includes your licenses. So it's going to revert back to the original SKU. So if you purchase a device with two ports of 10 gig turned on or no ports of 10 gig turned on, uh, that is going to be the way it will be after the factory reset. So then you need to go back and re-add your licenses after that. So as it boots up, you see it says factory reset is set and it's not loading the manifest. And then we'll see it erase the files here really quickly. Uh, erases all your configuration files, your licenses, etc. Uh, and then it's going to reboot a second time with uh, a clean configuration. So when this system is up and done, it will be uh, exactly as it was when you got it out of the box originally. So the system's now finished booting and you can see the reason the system was started was factory reset and it was reloaded by factory reset. And if we do a show run, there's nothing there. So it's absolutely clean configuration and ready for you to reprogram from the beginning or return to factory or whatever you wish to do with it. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for joining and have a great day. See you next time.